I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on logarithms and exponential functions. Now let us learn how to sketch graph of a logarithmic function. I have taken four examples here. I should say three. We'll first sketch the parent function log to the base 2 of x and then based on that we'll sketch transform functions log to the base 2 of x minus 1 and log to the base 2 of x to the power of minus 1. To begin with, we have to identify some key points. Now for a logarithmic function, what could be the key points? Well, one of the value of x uh, equals 2. Uh, let's talk about log to the base 2 of x. Uh, is very important is when x is equal to uh, let's say 1, right? So that is kind of important value. Then we could have a value which is the base itself. So in this case, it is 2. But in general, I'll write uh, base b. If we have log to the base, let's say, log to the base b of b, we know this value is 1, correct? Now, once we know the base, then uh, we also understand that uh, log to the base b of b to the power of x is x. Now that gives you other values which you could take, right? Now in our case, since the base is 2 for us, we'll work with 1, 2. And then we could take powers of 2, right? Does make sense to you, right? So that is kind of important to understand. And... Uh, Powers of 2 could be 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of minus 1, for example, which is half, right? So we could take the value, which is 2 to the power of minus 1, which is equal to half, right? We could take 2 to the power of 2, uh, which is equal to 4, right? So those could be good values for x. So to summarize, definitely x equals to 1 is a good value. And then knowing what the base is, we could take values related to base and using this strategy log to the base b of b of to the power of x is x we can actually evaluate the values now that is one part and second is what happens when x approaches zero from the positive side for the logarithmic function it will approach negative infinity right so this is one part and then what happens when x approaches positive infinity so those could be critical points to consider perfect okay now based on these points uh, let us write down the points themselves calculate and write down for the function log uh, to the base 2 of x so as we go uh, when x is 1 let me write down here when x is 1 the value of uh, log to the base of anything of 1 is always 0, right? Now, in our case, base is 2. So, if I take 2 as a value, then I should get 1 here. And if I take 4, which is 2 squared, the result will be 2. If I take x as half, which is 1 over 2, right? So, I expect minus 1 as my result. And if I take base as 1 over 4, then we expect... Uh, minus 2 as uh, the result, right? Now, what happens when x approaches 0 from the positive side? In that case, we know that y will approach negative infinity. And when x approaches infinitely large value, y approaches infinitely large value. So, so this set of values provide the end behavior, right? So let me write down end behavior here right so we have end behavior it is a very important parameter which should always be considered when you are especially uh, looking into logarithmic functions now when we say this approaches negative infinity that really means that we have a vertical asymptote and whose value is x equals to zero correct now, with these values in mind, let us sketch the logarithmic function. Now, logarithmic functions 
we are making a sketch so therefore I'm making a rough diagram since most of the values are on the right side let me use this part right hand part will be bigger for us right so that becomes our coordinate and uh, log to the base 2 of x I'll put in this light color so we'll start with this point which is always a very critical point whenever x is 1 for any logarithmic function parent function not transform you will always get a point as an x intercept right and then we have a vertical asymptote here so let me mark this as my vertical asymptote is that clear to you okay now at 2 we get a value which is uh, which is 1 and at 4 we get a value which is 2 right so that is how it is so this part of the graph will look like that on this side the values are decreasing rapidly and at half it is minus 1 at 1 by 4 it is uh, at uh, uh, my, uh, 1 by 4 it is minus 2 so it's kind of coming downwards in this fashion and then there is a vertical asymptote as you can see so that becomes the graph of our function log to the base 2 of x is that clear to you clear now let us sketch the graph of the other function which is log to the base 2 but it is for x minus 1 now when I say x minus 1 we know there is a translation right so that means what are we doing so log to the base 2 of x minus 1 means a log to the base 2 of x has been shifted one unit right correct so every point will now shift one unit right so shifting each point one unit right we should actually get our graph does it make sense to you so even this vertical asymptote shifts one unit right and so we now get a vertical asymptote which will be at let me write here x equals to 1 and the graph will be we have to join these points this time it is very close to it, kind of like this correct so that becomes the graph for log to the base 2 of x minus 1 is that clear to you perfect so it's not very difficult once you understand the concept and the concept here is uh, the key points vertical asymptote is very important to consider when you are sketching logarithmic functions okay now the second one here is for you uh, we'll again sketch log to the base 2 of x, copy it from here, and then a transform function, f of x log to the base 2 of x to the power of minus 1. What will that mean? Well, let me rewrite this. That really means it is equal to, now minus 1 is in the power, so it comes here. So we get minus log to the base 2 of x. So it is a reflection on the y-axis correct so this is a reflection on the y-axis so let's just uh, sketch this graph so that is your uh, x-axis this is the y-axis the graph for log to the base 2 of x as we did last time you'll follow the same process taking the points this is your x-intercept at 2 we get 1 at 4 you get 2 so we have a rising curve all throughout and vertical asymptote being x equals to 0 right so so this is your vertical asymptote let me write x equals to 0 was your vertical asymptote right for the base function right so that is what you get now when you to reflect this graph it will now be upside down right so this is invariant point it will remain there itself that point will come down correct this will further come down so two units right so it will approach now not positive infinity but negative infinity on this side uh, the asymptote remains the same however now it becomes a function which is always decreasing as we are sketching now is that clear to you so that becomes the graph of your transform function which is reflected so when we have log to the base 2 of x to the power of minus 1 it is reflected 
on x-axis. So that is your x-axis and this is your y-axis. Is that clear to you? And x equals to 0 remains the vertical asymptote in this particular case. However, the graph is always decreasing. Domain and range remain same. Domain is all real numbers greater than 0. Range is all real numbers. In the previous case, the domain also changed. Domain changed since uh, we shifted one unit to the right. So when there is a horizontal translation, there will be a change in domain, right? But if there is a vertical uh, translation or reflections, there will not be any change in the domain. Range remains all real numbers uh, for these transform functions. I hope that makes sense. Now, going forward, you could actually sketch graphs of many related functions using this concept. So the key points, remember, are basically related with the base. If I change the base to 10, then my points will be 1, 10, 100, 1000, or 0 0.1, 0 0.01, right? So those will be your critical points to work with. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.